Today we're going to be examining fingerprinting again. Uh, we actually are going to be fuming with cyanoacrylate fuming method. It's another way to recover fingerprinting or fingerprints rather. Uh, on the website we have all the materials listed that you need for this drill. We'll go over those in a minute and as a quick background both on the on our website, nationalcsicamp.org. Uh, and right now we're gonna give you a real, real, real brief background on before fingerprinting was even a thing, although it's been in existence uh, many, many, many years ago. Uh, ancient accounts, the Chinese uh, did this centuries ago and signed documents with their fingerprints. But to identify people, before fingerprinting was a thing, we used the Bertillon system, which was actual a uh, group of measurements from people uh, and skeletons to identify them. That along with other uh, identifiers, including maybe a photograph, and this is again the early 19th century, and we also in class talk about the Will and Will West story or case that actually involved why we switched as a country to fingerprinting. These guys were in jail. They thought they were the same man. In fact, they were not. So, and, and they were in jail based on this Bertillon system that they use. That's one of the reasons why they were both sitting in Leavenworth prison. So fingerprinting exonerated one of them for a, uh, one of them was sitting in the charge for, I think, a manslaughter or a homicide charge. And fingerprinting actually exonerated the other one that, uh, that did, not, did not do that. So, uh, and again, that's a real, real brief history. Just a snip, snippet, what you need for this experiment, and again, you can recover fingerprints a bunch of different ways, but you're going to need some Reynolds wrap, some tin foil. You're going to need duct tape. You're going to need some crazy glue. You are going to need a Tupperware top, a Tupperware container, a small Tupperware container that fits inside the larger one, something that you're going to fume. In class, we generally use slides. Um, biology slides, clear biology slides. You can use a shot glass or something else small that will fit in here. My suggestion would be to, if you do use a shot glass, ask your parents first that and make sure that they're not going to use that shot glass anymore. Um, this needs to be a smooth surface to capture that fingerprint on. And you're gonna need a heating element. This is a coffee warmer. You can use uh, not, don't necessarily have to use a coffee warmer. You can actually use a light bulb or some other heat type source. So what we're going to do first is start setting this up. And again, what we're trying to do is create a fuming mechanism or a fuming hood so that uh, once that those molecules of heat, a cyanoacrylate, are heated up, they're going to release in a fume state and adhere to the fingerprint that we're trying to capture that you guys are actually going to put on that glass slide or shot glass. So what I need you to do is place that heating element inside this container here. We're going to do the same thing with that small container. We are going to tear just a small piece of tin foil off and fashion it in the form of a small boat. Mine's going to be rectangular. Yours does not have to be. And I am in no stretch way, shape, or form an origami expert, nor should you be. This is more functional than anything else. So I've just created this very small boat with tin foil, which is going to sit on your heating element. Now, again, this is a flat surface. Mine is. So if you do have a light bulb, you might want to make sure that that is uh, curved in the back so that it sits on the light bulb itself. We're going to put that heating element flat. I'm sorry, we're going to put that tin piece of tin foil flat, flush up against the heating element itself. And in that small container, there's already a little water in there. I'm just going to add a little bit more water to that container in there. And we have uh, the item that's going to be fingerprint. And again, we're foregoing gloves and a mask because you guys are at home, so uh, I don't know how readily available a pair of latex or nitrile gloves is. Uh, so again, try not to get your fingerprints on here other than the one that you're trying to capture. The best way to do that, to ensure that, 
is uh, generally you have a lot more oils at the, the on your forehead or on the side of your nose and if you put those finger or two on that surface and again this shot glass should be smooth and it should be uh, one use so that your parents are probably done with it or they're getting ready to throw it out put that those fingerprints where you where you have them where you place them on that shot glass facing the heating element and again if it's a glass slide same thing make sure it's facing that heating element so before we close this uh this fuming hood up we're going to take crazy glue and drop three drops one two three inside that boat the tinfoil boat that's sitting on the heating element once that's done we're going to seal this up now be very very careful in sealing this up what i've done is pre-rip some of the duct tape off so i can expedite here for instructional purposes i suggest that you can do the same and all four sides I make sure that I get a pretty good seal all the way around, especially where the cord is coming out of the Tupperware. And again, it's Tupperware, so it should seal. And again, I'm asking you to do this in concert with your parents. Your parents should be supervising this operation. And the reason why I'm saying that is because this should be conducted in a well-ventilated area next to a window excuse me, that is uh, open or a door to make sure that uh, you guys don't can get contaminated once we burp this piece of Tupperware after it's done. So after we have all those items in place, the water inside the small Tupperware, the crazy glue on the heating element, which is uh, actually in the tin boat and whatever you're fuming, you're going to plug that heating element in and turn it on and let it sit for about 15 or 20 minutes. After 15 or 20 minutes goes by, what we're going to do is, again, having your parents help you, take that very carefully duct tape off. Now, if you used a glass slide and leaned it up against the side wall of the Tupperware container, putting, putting this on, putting the duct tape on or taking it off could have, make that slide to drop or whatever you're using. So please be careful when you're doing this. You don't want it to drop and certainly before the procedure happens. You don't want it to drop because you want to get results. So again, I would have your parents come in and just kind of burp this a little bit. Just take one corner and lift it up. Make sure those fumes are, are going out the window, which is this is right next to. And once you've done that, again, it's very important not to breathe those, those fumes in. You're taking the lid off, and again, normally we would be wearing gloves and or a mask, and you take your, uh, whatever you were trying to fingerprint out of there, and there should be white fingerprints on there. Um, this is a glass slide of a student that took his or her, and you can see on there, and if you kind of zoom in, you'd actually see the white and the ridge detail that the fuming actually developed. And you could screen capture that if you need extra time to take a look at it. But that was a pretty good print that this process actually uh, um, captured during this fingerprinting exercise. So once we do that, we're going to obviously clean up. Make sure that you unplug and let this heating element cool before you put it away. You're going to throw out your boat and your duct tape. You're going to pour out your water. And obviously keep your keepsake, which is, whether it be a slide or a shot glass, with your fingerprints on there. If there are multiple people, multiple, you know, like your brothers and sisters are doing this at the same time, make sure on that shot glass you could put the areas with which uh, you put your fingerprint on to discern which one was different from your brothers and or sisters. That completes this, uh, this lecture on cyanoacrylate or fuming for fingerprints. This mimics what's done in the laboratory. Uh, out in the field, uh, but we're doing it with homemade elements in your own home. Hope you learned something, and we'll be doing this again very shortly.